So you thinking about buying your used Hellcat? You want to buy your used Hellcat? Well, let me tell you a couple of things you need to know and do before you do buy your used Hellcat. That's you know. in the plan, that's what they call me. That's either a wide body or a slim body, whichever kind of charger or challenger, whichever kind of Hellcat you do decide to get, you probably need to know a couple of things before you do buy that Hellcat, especially, especially you young cats, especially you young, youngsters that just want to get the Hellcat and you're going to go in there blindly, just going to buy the car, not even use your thinking cap you're just gonna buy the car they're gonna overpay for the car and all the thing let me tell you a few things that i that i know because i did buy a used hellcat but i had my hellcat for a while but i bought a used hellcat when i bought this used hellcat right here it had exactly eleven thousand miles on here you know it's a little dirty as you can see can't really go nowhere right now in it because it's got the snow outside so i really can't take it to the uh car wash but i ain't really tripping because as you can see it's ceramic coated so as you can see it's ceramic coated my car is ceramic coated so i'm not really tripping on the dirt that'll come right off but um first thing you need to know when you're about to buy you a hellcat do your research do your research if you're gonna buy a used hellcat you gotta do your research you cannot just jump out there willy-nilly go straight to the first dealership you see with a hellcat that you like and go buy that but, but don't do that don't play yourself you know what i'm saying as dj Khaled say don't play yourself don't be no fool <laughs> you know before you go make sure you do your due diligence man you go do the research man do your research you know you can check car faxes and all that stuff but uh that's not really gonna um tell you everything you know you and if you wonder what I mean by that when I say the Carfax ain't gonna tell you everything you know You could buy your used Hellcat and it could have been in an accident And the person that previously owned that Hellcat he could have basically Did all the work himself and not reported the car to his, his insurance company or anybody He could have just got into a wreck tore the car up and then he could have rebuilt it himself And uh never reported it so you would never know if that car was in had it got to an accident or anything like that so you got to really really do your research on that car because usually if a car get into a major accident or something like that it's usually like a police report out there on it or something it's usually something out there to let you know that this particular car did get into an accident especially if it got into an accident with another car so make sure you do your research before you jump into that used car you know don't just don't just jump into the used car without doing your research without thoroughly doing your research on these cars man because these cars man i gotta put my hood on it's colder than a it's colder than the polar bear's toenail god damn it colder than a uh, fish's butt it's cold out here so uh yeah but back to what i was saying make sure you like you do your research like i said you, your car could have been in an accident and uh the person could have redid the car his whole self did it all itself and you'll never know that car been in an accident because you rushed and bought the car without doing your damn research so first thing you need to do is do your research do your research greedy hellcat warner the second thing that you want to do when you're getting a, a hellcat these ain't really going in order but i'm just saying check the paint you know what i'm saying some paint is hard to color match some certain paints like black you can you can easily cut hold on what's that you can easily color match a black that's not that's not hard to do Hell is that? I ain't nothing. But yeah, it's easy to match color match black with that. You get like these gray colors, you know what I'm saying? Orange, go mango, orange, or things like that. It's hard to really match color match that paint. So make sure you get to check and see if the paint has been altered in any way. That's another telltale sign of the car being into an accident. They may have changed out the color of the color of the paint. So make sure you check the paint because what you about to buy, you about to spend a lot of money on this vehicle it don't matter that it's used you're gonna spend 50 plus on a hellcat especially one with low miles and, and supposedly great condition you look to pay 55 and up on a good hellcat that's in with low miles and great condition so or you or you can get the clunker junker the raggedy daggly that's got 75,000 80,000 miles on it now that's a hellcat i would not buy but some of y'all greedy some of y'all just want to be in a hellcat be seen you're gonna get in anything you can you're gonna pay eighty thousand dollars for a used slim body hellcat when you could have bought a brand new one i'm just saying don't be no 
fool. <laughs> but yeah, make sure you check that paint. Check that paint. I mean, go down it, check it, make sure it's not any art, art, uh, variations, paint variations, devi deviations, you know, whatever word I'm trying to look for. You know what I'm trying to say? Make sure you check that out before you buy that car. Make sure you do a thorough, a thorough check. Don't be, don't be crazy. Don't be tra crazy. Let me pop this hood real quick. I'll tell you, I'll show you a way you can, uh, really check it, check it. Let me uh, pop that hood real quick. We're going to get back in there in a second, but, uh. Bear with me, baby. Bear with me, werewolf gang. Hey, look at that thing. At? Ah, but yeah. When you checking the paint, make sure you check all that over there. See that? Check that. Check that. Make sure it's even. Everything is good. You know what I'm saying? Everything is a okay. Cause if you do, you could just you you will know when you you will, you will see it. It won't line up. Things won't always be lined up properly. Just check and see, and I promise you, you will be able to notice if, it, if it's been an accident. Just go around, check under the hood, you know. As a matter of fact, check under the hood anyway. My, my hood a little dusty. I ain't cleaned it out in a while. Man, I ain't drove this car in three, four months, so bear with me. It, it usually be immaculate in, in, under the hood, but it ain't too immaculate right now. But yeah, make sure you check up under the hood. Check your air box. Usually people change these out. I, I'm gonna change mine out. I just ain't got around to it. Around to it because your boy Uncle T Light, he be working trying to get to that money. So I don't have time like I used to have. But I, but yeah, just make sure you check everything. Check the motor. Check check that supercharger. Check all everything you can that you can notice with the with the visible eye. You know, anything you can. Check your fluids. Check all of that. And uh, that's enough under the hood, but you know what I'm trying to say. Also, when you're about to buy this car, this goes for chargers too, even though I'm in a Challenger. Make sure you check the, the uh, interior, man. Just look inside the interior, check the interior out, check the leather, check see ain't no rips on your leather. Man, just make sure it's in good condition all in all. Make sure it's in good condition. Yeah, I got the red seat belts, you know. This bad boy fully loaded. But yeah, make sure you check everything. Check all the steering wheel. Make sure it ain't got no gashes and cuts on it. Make sure the uh, deck lid and all. I mean, you know, just make sure everything is looking good. I, I, I'm pretty sure. Just make sure everything, your screen's working good. Everything's good. Check your gear shifter. Make sure it ain't no wear, major wear and tear on it. You know, just check everything that you can check to make sure you get buying you a good, great vehicle. You know, check everything you can. Doors. Check the doors, just everything. Like I said, so you know that you, cause you about to make a major investment on this car. So don't be in such a rush, you know. Listen, you don't have to buy the first Hellcat you see. This is for youngsters, inexperienced people. Just anybody that's inexperienced in buying cars. You don't have to buy the first car you see. If you found one, you can find another one. I'ma say it again, if you found one, you can find another one. But yeah, make sure you check all of that. Make sure you check your brakes. Listen, brakes and rotors. Brakes and rollers, bro rotors. Listen, these things are so goddamn expensive. You make sure you check those because most car companies will not change those brakes out. You make sure you check those brakes, make sure they're good, those calibers is good. Listen, I know I'm telling you to do a lot, but when you about to make an investment on a car like this, you got to check things like that because you could be saving yourself hundreds or potentially thousands of dollars. I'm telling you, man. So make sure you check your brakes and rotors, man. Make sure you check that because you don't want to have to go down and get the car and then a month later you changing out the brakes and rotors. Because those bad boys, $200 a piece. The rotors, $200 a piece. piece. Brakes, I forget, but they expensive too. So I'm telling you, make sure you check that before you get that, before you jump into that car because I'm telling you, you don't want to get down the line and be checking that stuff, having to pay for that stuff down the line on top of making the car payment. If you have to make the car payment, you, now if you got 55 grand to blow, by all means, if you got, like, got money like whistling and diesel, you can blow 50 some thousand, then knock yourself out, you know what I mean? But if you don't got that kind of money, do your due diligence. Also check their wheels, cause some wheels have leaks. Like they can air that car up and it only hold air for a day or two. So make sure you check those wheels and make sure that they ain't got no leaks or no cracks that you don't know about because you don't want to replace one of these bad boys. I'm thinking these things like 300, maybe $400 a piece. 
I'm talking about a piece, not for four. I'm talking about a piece. So you make sure you check those wheels out too, as well as your tires. Make sure your tires ain't balled out. Because you don't want to replace a whole nother set of tires either. Listen, I'm trying to look out for y'all, man. I'm trying to tell y'all things that when I was young, people didn't tell me. Or when I was inexperienced with cars, people didn't tell me these things. You got to check these things. When you're checking your tires, make sure when you're checking your tire, you run your hand all the way to the back of the tire. So you can feel and see if it's balding on the inside of the tire, you know. You want to check it. You want to check and see if it's balding on the inside of the tire. Feel if you feel any wires and stuff because... It's a Hellcat. People been burning out in this thing. I don't give a fuck. If, I don't give a care if it's. I don't want to cuss. I'm trying to stop. I'm trying to stop cussing for the youngsters. But I don't care if it's a. Uh, it is low mileage. It's a Hellcat. You think they ain't doing no burnouts in that Hellcat? You think they weren't burning out in that Hellcat? You better get your. You but you better get your get your, get your head out the sand. They was burning out. Cause if it was my car, I'd be burning out. And if it was your Hellcat, you'd be burning out too, right? So come on now, check those tires before you have to buy a whole new set of tires in a week. Cause you didn't want to check the tires because you were so antsy, so happy ho, happy ho, jiggly wiggly running around. So happy that you got a Hellcat. You bought a Hellcat with bad brakes, bad rotors, and bad tires and effed up interior. As well as it's been in an accident and you ride around all happy. You ride around in a ticket time bomb. Get your mind right. Come on now. Uncle T-Light trying to help you. Now you better listen. But yeah. That's another thing that you got to check. Check all that stuff, man. If you if you can, take it to a dealer. Take it to a, uh, a mechanic that you know. Preferably one with a lift so he can lift it up and he can see what's going on in that car. Man, give him, go ahead and give him like 80 bucks to do a little checkup on the car, man. That's 80 bucks that could save you thousands of dollars. That's 80 bucks well spent. I'm not telling you no garbage. I'm telling you some real deal. You know what I mean? I'm telling you some real deal. So, yeah. Those pretty much the main things that you got to do, main things you should look for when you're buying a used Hellcat. And take it from me, I bought a used Hellcat. My Hellcat had 11,000 miles on it. I think it's got 17,000 miles on it now. Uh, I'm not for sure, but I think it's got 17,000. Uh, yeah, it's got 17... 17,768. So, I've been driving this bad boy a little bit, but I also had it for a little while. So, not a little while. I had it for a while. But, uh, yeah. Make sure you do your due diligence on these cars, man. Listen. I'm just trying to help out the person that ain't experienced, may not have been experienced with a car. Listen. When you buy something like this, you gotta, you gotta do your research, man. I'm telling you. Because this, you're gonna be stuck with this car for a while. Big, major investment. Don't, 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 don't blow, don't waste your money on the lemon. Because then you're going to be fighting with the dealership trying to take that raggedy motherfucker back. So, like I said, man, make sure you check out. Make sure you do your, do your research. Do all the checkups you can. And if, like I said, if you got the money, take it to a mechanic and let him do a checkup. Go ahead and pay that little money, man. So, you got to spend money to make money. And you also got to spend money sometimes just just for you can have peace of mind. So, like I said, yeah. Hopefully this video help out. Whoever about to buy a used Hellcat, let me tell you, I, I, I bought a used Hellcat and I ain't had pro no problems with mine. I love my car. Many more. I, buy, I got many mods I'm going to do to the car. I just ain't got to run to doing it. I got a lot of cosmetic mods I'm going to do to the car. But hell again, you know I jump in and out of cars like it ain't nothing. So you might see this, this car today and then you might see a Z01 sitting in the garage tomorrow. But I do got plans for the car. So if I end up keeping it, I will. Go ahead and throw, uh, throw those mods on there that I got for it. So, y'all be looking for that. But uh, with that being said, let me go ahead and give it a cold start. Let's go ahead. Y'all want to get a cold start from Prometheus. For those who don't know, my Hellcat name is Prometheus. I got a Super Sport. I call that the Super. I also got a Dodge Magnum. Um, it's in the shop right now. And I got that Jeep right there. The Jeep is called Colossal. And the Mac Magnum is called Magalini. But uh, let's see if it starts. Because I ain't started in a while. So, it might not start. Prometheus, arise. Hold on. <laughs> Remote start disabled. Start vehicle to reset. Damn, I gotta get inside this bad boy to start it, man. I'ma go ahead. I'ma go ahead and get inside of it for y'all. But I usually don't do this, man. <laughs> but for my peeps, I'ma go ahead and do this for y'all, man. I usually don't do it. I usually don't do it, but I'm gonna do it for y'all, man. Let's get this cold start, man. Y'all get back there and look, man. 
Prometheus, arise! <laughs> Said, I'm gonna leave it out how I always leave it, baby. It's your boy, T. Light. Oh, yeah, shout out to the what? Werewolf K. No. Much love to the light crew. You already know how I feel about you. Drip check. Ooh. Your boy looking extra handsome, and I'm out this piece. Imagine. 